Hey everybody out there, this is Seto Kaiba, and today for you guys, we are going to be doing a deck profile of the third-rate duelist with the fourth-rate deck's deck profile, uh, Mr. Joey Wheeler himself. Uh, yes, it is a horrible deck, do not play this deck, uh, and that is Red Eyes Black Dragon. Uh, now, before, jokes aside, before we get into this deck profile, I do want to mention to you guys that this deck has not changed a lot uh, drastically since the last time I profiled this. I have made some slight adjustments. That's why I say this is more of an updated version of the deck. Um, I did do a poll on the channel a few weeks ago asking for your guys' feedback if you still would want to see deck profiles of decks that I had just done slight adjustments to and I got the feedback and resounding answer of yes, we would still love to see them and see what you've been doing, see what you've been playing around with, do a discussion, you know, talking about what different things you've done. So I just want to mention to you that. To you that. Um, so yes, guys, as you guys know, this is the uh, run by Joey Wheeler, who is a third-rate duelist, and this is his fourth-rate deck, um, as well as it was played by Atticus Rhodes in the GX anime. But all jokes aside, guys, let us get into these Red Eyes Black Dragon deck profile. So first we run uh, three Red Eyes Black Dragon, the ultimate creature of destruction. Many have faced this dragon and lived to tell the tale. Uh, that, that's a joke. Uh, you can laugh you, or shake your head, whichever you prefer. But yes, uh, three of Red Eyes Black Dragon, staple three of in the deck. Uh, it's going to be used a lot for uh, your level 7 exceed plays as well as your fusion plays in the deck. Just to let you guys know that. It will be used as a beater, though, if you equip it with things like your Black Metal Dragon. That will gain, give it attack to help run over things more. And that does come into play in certain situations against certain decks. That does happen. But for the most part, fusions exceed fodder. Um, and then sometimes you'll bring them back for beat fodder, too, for beating things down. We also won the one Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon. Uh, good one of in the deck. He will do some burn damage, but he's just a good level 7 one of. Will be used for a lot of exceed plays as well. Um, so it's a good one of card to have. Uh, in addition to that, we run two Red Eyes Alternative Dragon. Uh, this is a card that, even when I was replay testing this deck and trying different things out, I went back to running it, running it as a three of. So initially when this card came out, I ran it as a three of. Then I found I liked it as a two of, and when I was replay testing this deck, I tried it at three again, and I found that I still liked it at two. So that's up to you to decide. Everybody runs their Red Eyes Black Dragon deck a little bit differently, I find, um, but this is a good staple two of, I feel like, at minimum a two to three of in the deck, hands down. It's going to be used for a lot of different ex plays, but also exceed plays as well. Uh, the One Dark Magician, and this is going to help you go for your Red Eyes Dragoon uh, play, which if you guys are not running Red Eyes with Red Eyes Dragoon, I mean, I know this card's expensive at the moment, so I understand that, but this is really why you're running this. This is really awesome in this deck. This was really, initially, I feel like made for Dark Magician and Red Eyes, but they, <laughs> it's been thrown in everything nowadays. And, you know, mentioning that, uh, if you because we run Dragoon as a two of them in this deck, you may be wondering, well, how are you doing that, Seto? There's other ways of running it as a two of in this deck without running Dark Magician as a two of, so you don't get clunky hands. Now, I will discuss a little bit further on in this deck profile of other cards you can run in case Dragoon does get hit on the next list, uh, which is going to be coming out probably, uh, I don't know when, but it's going to be coming out soon. So in case that happens, these are other cards you could run. So we will we'll be talking about that as well. Three, Black Metal Dragon. Staple three of in the deck, hands down. Thank you, Konami, for making this a hollow, a hollow rarity out of the tournament pack a few years ago. I have been... This was probably... I'm so happy they rarity bumped this. This card needed it. It deserved it because of how versatile it is in this deck. It will be used to get, uh, do a lot of search power, give your your monsters attack bonus if they're Red Eyes cards. Uh, you can combo it with things like Red Eyes uh, Gear Free the Iron Knight. Uh, you also can combo it with... Kinkabuyo. Uh, we've talked about that play a thousand times. I know, I'm probably the only one running it still nowadays, but it's still good. Um, so, yeah, guys, this card's really versatile. Staple three up in the deck. Uh, next, we run three Gear Free, the Red Eyes Iron Knight. This guy can help pop back row, um, do a lot of cool little cute plays. Granted, back row is not as big of a deal as it used to be, um, but it's still a great three up in the deck, I find, overall. Um, 
I feel like five years ago this card had been really good for the deck, but nowadays it's a little it's been a little power creeped, but it's still a good card in the deck. Um, I'm running it as a three of. You can run it as a two or one of. Uh, I, I think two to three is really good because of its versatile uses if you really know how to use this card. And if you're focusing the deck more on Slash Dragon uh, rather than maybe Dragon Link or something else you're running. But that's up to you to decide. Um, I really like the more of a fusion variation for this deck. If you'd like more of an exceed variation, maybe you run it as a two of. Uh, you can also run reinforcement of the army in the deck and run this as a two of to search it out. But I found that I pretty much am easily able to search this card out as is. So yeah. Um, so it depends on how much you're going for Slash Dragon. I'll be honest with you there. Um, next we run to the Black Stone of Legend. Uh, staple two of in the deck. Uh, some people run it as a one of, that's fine. But this card's going to be really nice. You can also use it with Kinkabuyo plays. That is a thing. Do not forget that. Kinkabuyo is very abusive in this deck. I'm just saying. I've been saying it for years now. Um, but we run to the Blackstone of Legend. Um, it's a really good card. Not a three of anymore. You can easily recycle your red eyes and re abuse this card. Uh, the one red eyes baby dragon. This is a one to two of in the deck. I did try it at two of. There were some different ratios I played around with when I was doing this deck. Uh, I tried two Red Eyes Gear Free and two Baby Dragon, and I found Gear Free was a little bit better than the Baby Dragon because the Baby Dragon was a little bit slower and situational. I mean, it was tomatoes and tomatoes. I mean, it's 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 preference really. Uh, so I like this as a one of. You can run two of if you want to. I would not run three of anymore, but uh, good card in the deck. Very versatile for helping bring out Red Eyes. Your one Meteor Red Eyes Impact, uh, excuse me, uh, Meteor Dragon Red Eyes Impact. Uh, this is going to help you go for your Meteor Burst, or your Meteor Dragon in the deck, which is very good for help setting up Red Eyes Engrave if you have a lot of uh, Reborn cards that you can go off of. Um, staple one of, in my opinion. You can run Compulsor, Compulsar uh, Dragon, which is the one from that old uh, Light and Dark Dragon structure deck that came out ages ago. Um, you could run that in the deck as well if you wanted to, but uh, that misses timing, and this is a Red Eyes card in its name, so it's a little bit more versatile in some regards, so like this is a good one of. The one Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon, I love my secret rare that I got from Joey's World Collection. Do not forget this card has been eroded uh, to some degree. Still a great card, though. Still a, sta a staple in this deck, hands down. Uh, there are cards that can bring it back. If you guys do not know, Red Eye Spirit uh, can bring this card back from the graveyard. Uh, Tenny Spirit of uh, Rashuda. I like this card. It's a good staple card in the deck. This is going to help facilitate level 7 Exceed plays in the deck a lot. It's a staple 2 of, in my opinion, in any Red Eyes deck. I find 3 of is a little bit too much. It also has the benefit of its graveyard effect, which is great to have, but a uh, staple 2 of, in my opinion. Uh, then we also run uh, Noctivision Dragon. Um, this is up to how many you want to run and how, where you're trying to take the deck with Noctovision. While Vashuda I like is a staple two of in any Red Eyes build, Noctovision depends upon what you're trying to do in the deck. Are you trying to be more focused on fusions or are you trying to be focused on more level 7 exceed plays, etc. Uh, maybe as well as a, a more link heavy as well. Um, it depends where you're trying to take the deck because, I say that is, Noctovision is a great card, but it depends on what you're trying to do. Are you trying to make this deck more link heavy? If so, then you run Noctovision as a two of. Uh, if you're trying to make it more exceed heavy, then that's the way you go. If you're trying to focus more on the fusions in the deck, uh, then maybe you run it as a one of because it can be bricky a little bit. Um, so it, it's personally up to preference and how you're trying to build the deck with Noctovision and its ratio, but no more than two of, I would say. Uh, three of, I've seen people running, I'm just like, how do you do that? <laughs> one, Kinkabuyo. Uh, Kinkabuyo is a great card to have in the deck. Staple one of, in my estimation. There's a multitude of different plays you can do with it, uh, be it bringing it back your, uh, to go off into things with your Blackstone of Legend. Uh, be it bringing things back you know, like your black metal dragon going off this and then going into your pendulum dragon uh, Which we've talked about before. It's versatile. It's a, just a nice one of to run I'm gonna be honest because you run a lot of level ones that get good effects off uh, It's a tech option. I like it. It works well for me It's just me <laughs> 
but I love the versatility of that card and people don't see it coming, especially when you have a lot of resources in Grave. Woo! Um, next we run three Red Eyes Insight. This card needs a hollow upgrade. I'm being honest. Uh, it needs it. It really does. I know they've reprinted this, but this needs a hollow upgrade. It just would look so beautiful as a super in the you know in the in an OTS pack. I I hope one day that happens. I, I've been hoping for a while now. But three red eyes insight. It's a searcher for your deck. It's a staple three of hands hands down. Great card. Love the artwork of that card. Uh, three return of the dragon lords. Uh, return of the dragon lords is a staple three of in my opinion. This is going to help abuse and bring back a lot of your different red eyes cards, etc. Give you protection for your red eyes. I've seen people cut down the ratio of this card, and I don't get it. Uh, staple three of in my estimation. Uh, two red eyes fusion. I've seen two. I've seen one. I've seen three. I think three is a little bit too much. I'm going to be honest because this card can brick. Um, you want to see it. It's easily searchable. That's why I like it as a two of because it won't brick as much because it does take setup. You can't do anything really else that turn uh, unless you have the baby dragon. Then you're setting it or you're setting certain cards. So saying that, I like this as a two of in the deck. In addition to that, we're running one Magicalized Fusion in the deck. Magicalized Fusion is going to help you go for your second Dragoons. Because say you go for Red Eyes Fusion, you go into your Dragoons, you have your Dark Magician, and you have your Red Eyes Engrave. Oh, guess what I can do later on? I can use Magicalized Fusion. Oh, because I have Dark Magician and Red Eyes Engrave, I can bring out my second Dragoons. Ta-da! There you go. So this does take setup. It's a one-of. It's nice to have in the deck. Um, pretty good. If Dragoons got hit to one of, I cut this and I probably run either Rhoda, Upstart Goblin. There's some, there's a thousand other things you could run in the deck, but pretty much this would just be cut out and just something else would get th thrown in. Maybe a third Nocto Vision. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's what that ratio would do. But two at Ice Fusion there. I have these supers. Yep, because I've played this deck for years. I'm being honest with you. <laughs> uh, there we got Double Allure of Darkness. Uh, you can run triple or double. It's up to you. Instead of running the triple, I run the one cards of the red stones because of how many uh, level 7 red eyes cards you run. Um, it's a nice card to have. It helps set up things in grave because you have so many reborn cards. That's why I like it. Um, instead of banishing things off Allure, and really, a lot of the red eyes cards, I don't want to really banish. I actually want to have them on field so I can do fusion, exceeds, links, etc. I don't really get anything off banishing it except drawing into more cards. So that's why I prefer this, where this can set up things in grave. I talked about this in one of my other deck profiles I did of Red Eyes a couple months ago, but yeah, that's the ratio I like. You can play around with three allure. Um, I tried it again and I felt the same way, so I was probably a little biased on that, but yeah. It worked out still. One, one for one. You have a lot of targets for this. This is very good to run in the deck. Also can help set up things in grave for your reborn cards. Your one monster reborn in the deck as well. It's a great card to bring a lot of your things back. So you can do different plays with them. Why not? Uh, we also run three red eyes chain with fang. Uh, red eyes chain with fang. It's up to you. The ratio you want to run of this card in the deck. Uh, some people like two, three, one. I've seen it all. Um, it depends pretty much on the ratio that you're running your red eyes gear free uh, and how much you're focused on slash dragon i'm being honest with you if you're focusing more heavily on slash dragon this is a three of if you're not it's a two or one of uh probably a one of but it's up to you and slash dragon's still good, decently good i feel like and it's pretty good overall so and this card's very versatile because of the way you can steal opponents monsters and do different things against them so it just depends on how you're playing your red eyes deck and what you're doing. The one red eyes spirit, this is searchable. This can bring back your red eyes black flare metal dragon, which is nice. Uh, you can do that. So I like this as just a good one of it's why wouldn't you run it to bring back your red eyes, you know, black metal dragon so you can do plays with it. So good one of to have in the deck. I like the one card. Uh, extra deck wise, guys, we are running, uh, we have two field centers this time. We have our Japanese red eyes black dragon that a friend of mine gave to me. So thank you for that, buddy. Uh, we also want or one or Joey Wheeler uh, field center as well. You can choose which one. We also have our Joey Wheeler token. Yeah, Joey Wheeler. I made him into a token because I'm Seto Kaiba like that. Or Pegasus captured his soul. I don't know what. Maybe that was an alternative universe. Um, jokes aside, 
one red eyes black flare metal dragon. Yes, I have the ghost rare. Uh, one red eyes black flare metal dragon. I have the ultimate rare. This card's really staple in the deck still. I see people run it as a one of because they're focusing more on a link based aspect of the deck. But if you're focusing on more of a link aspect, you're going to be running a lot, you know, having opportunities to go into level sevens. And this card's still a staple two of, in my opinion. And we also won the number 11 big eye. You can run Drago Sack as well if you want to. That's up to you. Uh, we run two Red Eyes Dragoon. Uh, these are your fusions for your deck. You'll be going for this bad boy a lot. Two Red Eyes Slash Dragon. Uh, it's up to you how many Slash Dragon you want to run. It depends also on your focus of your deck as well. Uh, we also run one Meteor Black Comet Dragon as well. Uh, this is really good for selling up things in Graveyard if you have a lot of Reborn cards. Good one up in the deck. We also run one Beast Eyes Pendulum Dragon. This is just a cool uh, contact fusion you can go for with your Kinkabuyo plays like we were talking about earlier. So Kinkabuyo is going to help go for this. It's just nice to run in the deck. It's pretty cool. You can easily bring it out. Um, next we run one Salomon Great All Mirage. I like All Mirage in the deck for one simple reason. If any of my low level monsters get negated, they're dead on board and I can take a bunch of damage. So instead I would prefer to go for All Mirage. That's why I'm running in the deck. This is a new option thing I'm running in the deck. I like it. It's good to run. It's I'm, it's a staple now in my deck. Uh, one Heretic Seal of Heavenly Spheres. This is good. We're a dragon-based deck. We can do cool things with this. Wooden Heretic Plant Verte Anaconda. Uh, and then also we are running, guys, uh, as well, uh, one Nightmare Cerberus. It's going to be Nightmare Phoenix because of back row. Back row is one of the Achilles heels of this deck, and you want to get rid of it. You don't need to run Cerberus because you can usually beat over things here. Uh, one Nightmare Unicorn. This can help spin things back to the deck. And lastly, we're running one Black Luster Soldier of Chaos. This is a good one of in the deck. The reason why we're not running things like IP Mascarena guys uh, in the deck and things like... Um, excuse me, uh, Axis Code Talker, is because I found myself a lot of the times not going into Link 4s. If you're more of a Link, of a link strategy based, then yeah, you run, you know, AP Mascarena, uh, etc. You run these bad boys in the deck. Um, you also can run in another option. I know these are expensive options here, but you can run them. It's, it's up to you. Uh, you can also run Divine Arsenal AA Zeus in the deck as well if you want to. Uh, if you're focusing more on, of an exceed package, maybe you're running three exceeds, etc. Uh, maybe some link, you know, level one exceeds as well. Up to you to decide. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this deck profile. Um, like I said, I love Red Eyes Black Dragon. I know I made a bunch of jokes in this video, but I do enjoy the deck thoroughly. It's a fun, fun deck to play. I'm so happy that um, Konami has given support and love to this deck over the years. It deserves it. Uh, Joey Wheeler was an awesome character in the anime. I know I threw a lot of shade in this video. And Atticus Rhodes was a cool uh, you know, character in the GX anime. We, we have to give a shout out to him as well. But um, Joey was an awesome character in the anime. Love him to death. Um, he's actually probably next to Kaiba, my, my second favorite character. Go figure, right? Uh, you'd be surprised, but yeah, he is. Um, but yeah, guys, without further ado, uh, hope you enjoy this deck profile and until next time take care have fun dueling good luck dueling to all of you guys and i'll see all of you guys next time go red eyes black dragon and go joey wheeler take care everybody